all right guys what's going on youtube guys and ladies well marketplace purchase set of 17 inch eagle alloy uh i don't know the brand the the model number of these i know they're eagle alloys 17 by 8 i think billet wheels center caps where are the center caps at i heard them bouncing around as i was driving I had to drive like 150 miles to get these wheels. They were all the way in Monroe, Louisiana. There's the center cap. And that's a aluminum center cap. Let's see. I mean, my opinion, not the best looking billet wheel, but it's a billet wheel, 17 by eight, which is what I wanted. So I get those police 265 60s swapped onto these but 200 bucks might be a good deal i don't know i haven't really looked at them real closely yet i mean they all the front of them the fronts of them all looked good but i don't think i've noticed any dents or cracks in them but i mean 200 bucks old man had them got all four of them matching but anyway i'll pick this video up in the daytime because it's dark right now i just just got back from Monroe, Louisiana, about a 150 mile round trip, or 150 mile one way, I mean. But anyway, I'll get back to you in the daylight. All right, it's the next day, or actually it's the next night. I've just been busy all day. But anyway, here's the wheels right here. You can see them better. Very dirty, seriously need to be polished. I don't know when these were polished, probably back in the early 2000s. But that one right there, you can see it's almost like chalk. But these are uh, Eagle Alloy billet wheels. I mean, it's two-piece welded billet wheels, billet cap held on by a screw that comes with this custom key, custom key, just like a safety uh, safety whatever it's called safety torx bit i think i have some in here somewhere mm, maybe not oh yeah there's one there's a safety torx but anyway they're all they all need to be polished the worst one is the one back here uh this one somebody's brakes must have been really bad as you can see, that's all black, brown actually. And it is, I mean, you cannot get that stuff off there. It is like baked on. So I don't know, I have to look up how to clean that type of stuff off of these billet wheels. Either that or take just a, a, take just a wire wheel on a grinder and just wire it down in the back. Because the back don't really need to be polished. It's just the front up here. I may get one of those uh, foam balls like Mother's or mcguire's balls for polishing uh aluminum to put on my you know a, one of those d's nuts balls to put on my drill and just try to polish the front i do have this stuff right here which works really good i always use this stuff works really good it comes in this plastic shitty container now the last one i got which was years old was metal so i don't know but anyway, nothing exciting. These aren't the best looking billet wheels. They're not the greatest. Uh, there's a clean one here somewhere. I think this is the one that I cleaned. I cleaned this with SOS. But somewhere on there it says 17 by 8, which is that's about what I'm looking for. Those 265 60 cop tires will fit on these good because they recommend a 7.5 or an 8 inch wheel to go on which you could probably put them on a 9 or a 10 i mean hell they're 265s but anyway i need to go get these tires dismounted and then work on these rims clean them up i have to get lug nuts for these and then get the cop tires mounted on them they're they're pretty light i don't know how light they'll be with the cop tire if it's worth it but i paid like i said i paid 200 dollars for these wheels is it yeah, in my mind, I guess it's worth it because they can be polished. And then I got all four center caps with them, which these center caps, if you look on eBay, people want like 
40 60 70 bucks per center cap that's just what they want i'm not saying they're buy people are buying them for that much but you know 40 bucks and up for center caps and i got all the center caps uh let's see these two have center caps attached and then this one is missing oh there that's the other center cap that's the center cap for this one but anyway got all the center caps got all the proper bolts so far none of the holes have been stripped out that the bolts go into the wheels i've been lucky i think i got them in three and then this is the last one i needed to test i had to clean the holes out because i got dirt dauber stuff in them but this this is the bad wheel this is the wheel that really needs to be clean but i've checked these wheels over no bends no chips no cracks which these are only 17s. These aren't like 22s or 24s that crack. 22s or 24s that crack just from you looking at them. If you run over a little pebble in the road, they bend and crack. You know, these are pretty robust wheels right here. But very straight. Even the even this dirty ass one's very straight. Uh, they had a lot of hammer-on weights, which to me is a no-no on billet wheels. You don't use hammer-on weights on billet wheels. I mean, Jesus Christ, if you care about them that much. These, they, like I said, only paid 200 But if you look, other people on Facebook Marketplace, they call these baby billets. They want like five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars $800. Like, guy, you got to be fucking crazy. But 200 bucks for these. Again, it's not the best-looking style, in my opinion. Uh, not very interested in this style, but they're billet wheels. I mean, for 200 bucks. I don't know, did I get a good deal on these? I would think, since I got all the center caps and stuff, yeah, probably. The tires are junk, you know, trash, but I don't need the tires anyway. Um, this tire here, there's no way you'd be able to see it. This this rims, this these tires, this tire here is from 2006. And, you know, why it's popped off the bead, I don't know. Probably just had a flat or something, or it just came off the bead. Who knows? But 2006, and these Firestone Destinations are from 2010. So there's no telling how old these wheels are. Um, I did ask the guy. He said they came off of a 2011-12 Silverado. Now, to me, this is not the right style wheels for a new, new body style. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but they, I think these would look ugly and tiny on a truck like my mom's, the 2012 Silverado that I'm doing the system in. That's just my opinion. Now, on a 99 through 06 single cab, yeah, they probably look all right, especially with the 265 60 cop wheels. And these look about the same offset. I did test fit one on the back. It looked like it was about the same offset. So... You know, they don't, they're not all deep lipped sticking out and shit. I don't like that shit. But they hang inside the fender wells. They hang inside the fenders. And well, I guess that's about it. But I guess I'll make another video on trying to polish these or something. You know, from here, that kind of looks like an old school uh, 99 or what is it? 01, 01 through 06, a bourbon wheel like the 16 inch aluminum wheels on the the suburbans if any of y'all know what i'm talking about that kind of looks like one right there but anyway i guess that's it let me know what you think uh not really my particular style of wheel on my very first single cab years ago Back in 2008, 2009, 2010. I don't remember when I had that truck. It was years ago. I'd have to ask my buddy. But it had, the last set of wheels it had on it before I got rid of it was some, I want to say 17 inch also, 17 inch Budnick wheels. But they were like the spoke to design, a little bit better looking than these. But I mean, these, these are all right. You know, they don't, they don't, they don't stick out. They don't have a big lip or anything. You know, it's just kind of like that. I'm just going for extremely light wheels. And yeah, they're a headache. You have to polish them, but extremely light. So they should be... I, I need to get a weight comparison. Maybe I can dismount one of these wheels and mount it on that spare tire there and uh, 
weigh it, compare compare the weight of that to the weight of a steel wheel out here. Because honestly, I don't know if it's much difference, even if it was even worth me trying to find a set of billet wheels. I don't think it much. I know some people say the rolling mass, the weight of wheels don't really matter unless they're like super heavy. Like you go from a 100 pound wheel down to like a 60 pound wheel or something. But uh, those steel wheels out there on that single cab, they're not that that extremely heavy. You know, I'd have to get one of these wheels mounted on one of those cop tires to see. But anyway, that's, this is a long enough video just to show some wheels. I guess let me know what you think or whatever. Is this is this an ugly wheel? I think it's kind of ugly, but I kind of dig it. You know, it's aluminum. It's an aluminum wheel. I'd love to know because it's definitely an Eagle Alloy wheel. I would love to know the model number of this wheel because I see these caps on eBay, but they don't specify what model number wheel they fit. And this specific cap I've seen from 50 to 75 to $80 each. Like, good Lord, some people are out of their mind. But I guess that's that's the aluminum, billet aluminum, fancy wheels, whatever. But anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day or night.